Technically, just to explain this real quick, just so people mm -hmm. understand why you're harping on that. Mm -hmm. Technically, every stable coin is supposed to be backed by the same exactly. quantity of, yes. the, of the market cap. Yes. Because that market cap is the literal existence of all USD, quote unquote, in that mm -hmm. specific system. Yep. So this is not something to really gawk at. It's very important. Yep. So when you think 62 billion, do you understand that they don't actually have that 62 billion? And a lot of it Correct. is sold in those commercial paper, which if they crash, they have to basically do forced liquidation and basically rock pull the market because when all those USDT pairs, which is again, almost 80% of the market, I mean, it's a joke, 62 billion just tether. Uh, the next one, USDC is like, okay, maybe 22. But then after that, nothing is really nowhere near. Like Gemini dollar is not even a billion. It's like 200 million or something like that. So, and, and this is what has happened last week. That's what we tell you guys in the coin game, what the average influencer has no freaking clue. You're talking about, oh, we're gonna go to 100,000, not understanding how the mechanics works, what's under the hood, that the engine light just went on. <laughs> and, at, and at any time when they pull out, because again, in a risk curve, crypto as a whole is still the most risky. So when that gets left behind, it's going to drop the whole thing. So that's the real reason about the panic last week. It wasn't so much about the tether FUD, so to speak. It's about understanding that when the real report came out, Wells, and people find out the actual breakdown, that they only own about like 5%. Some stupid yeah. Number. That's, that's, than that's basically, actual, everything that's basically, that. yeah, that's basically like, like saying you owe 95% more than the cash you actually have in your pocket. Yes. That's insane. That's we You're have in the whole ninety five percent. Yeah, yeah. It's super leveraged to the point where it's it's insane. So that that's that's point number one. Systemic risk. Point number two related to that. Back to just to give everybody a comparison. Compared two thousand eight, when the whole market fell, the whole thing for the low liquidity, those commercial paper wells, they were only about eight percent of the market. Eight percent. Wow. Better is like sixty percent of the crypto market in terms of pairs. Sixty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. So it's a it's, big chunk of it. If this thing just lose pair priority by maybe like 98 cents on the dollar, it's a wrap. Yeah, that's a because problem. Because during the traditional market, this is one of the stuff that happened. And then yeah. reason number three, this is going to blow your mind even more because I did the research. What the data in terms of the leverage in the market, in the traditional market, back then in 2008, during those crashes, even 2015, we were talking about like $400 billion of debt out there leverage insane yeah and it's funny today, because those today. numbers were crazy yeah. and yeah, now today, that. that's nothing you want to know what the number is today <laughs> i'm sure it was like 10 times or some stupid oh, oh, shit. yeah you you all-time high bro almost a trillion and oh it's my god it. it's insane it's super <laughs> fluffy so at any time at wow. any time one of the big investors are like the world is going to another point. and then they just rock pull this thing this summer tradition to the traditional market is going to create a cascade effect it's going to mess up all those collaterals and then massive liquidation is going to start popping left and right. That's why we want people to understand what is actually going on, those systemic risks. So to bring it all back together, it's related to if you get a major pullback, look, look how far it is from the moving average. That's insane. If you yeah. get a move like this, by the way, people, this is the type of move that you get and then you get a the, those crypto crash that we had because everything is connected. So that's why we want you guys to keep an eye on what's going on. That is correct, Ashley Bros. That is correct. Yep. I've been talking about this for a while, and that's why I did a banking, a stream just on that. Amen. You're absolutely just right. Just on that. Hell yeah. And uh, when I run through these correlations today, because mm -hmm. I'm going to run through my little Sunday stream today, just a little quick snippet, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to show you guys just that, because that's the whole point. People need to understand that Hex is entirely decorrelated from everything and everything else is correlated. Amen. Literally. Amen. It's not even a joke. It's not an exaggeration. It's fact. Amen. And this is what the Quan Gang is about. So when you, your little influencers start to all oh, this, that's for, they have no clue that we actually do the research. We know what's yeah. connected, how the mechanics works.